notice if you've been paying attention that I have some different pictures up there from what I had before. These come from my um, uh, from a, a series of pen drawings that I did called the Eyes of Enlightened Beings. And, uh, you know, I found that with certain pictures, you may have noticed this with a picture of Ramana Maharshi, that just looking at this picture can bring us into a great spacious awareness. It's kind of amazing that this happens. But it, what is what are we looking at in that picture? We're looking at the eyes in the picture. We're not looking at the nose or the mouth or the chin or the forehead or the shape of the of the face. We're looking at the eyes. The eyes are what transmit this this energy. So I decided that I would uh, do these pen drawings of these awakened beings with um, focusing on the eyes, focusing on their eyes. And later, as I started uh, putting them up here, I realized one eye is enough. <laughs> Let's just get right to the point. It doesn't really need the nose, as you can see in the picture of the Buddha or the Dalai Lama there. You know, this, this one eye is enough. There was a saying that Jesus had, let thine eye be single in the Bible, I think, something like that. Let thine eye be single. So the single eye, what does this mean? Let thine eye be single, your eye be single. So there's a lot of meanings behind this. It's quite a deep saying. So single means also no separation. What you're looking out at is, you know, also what's looking. There's no separation anywhere. So that's a single eye. And likewise, when, when I was doing these, I, I noticed too that when you look into the eyes of awakened beings, you're really seeing yourself. It's like a mirror because they're a clear mirror. There's, there's, you see a person when you're not awake. You look at an awakened being and you see another person with a personality and, and all these different things that people have. You know, they look like a person. They walk on two legs, they look like a human. And so you assume, you believe from your conditioning that this is a person that you're looking at. But the awakened being has transcended the person. They no longer feel that they're a person. So if you look clearly, it's transparent. You're looking into your true being. And that's your true being. That's the true being of everything. There's just one true being. And that's you. And everything you see is also that same true being. So this is another way of saying, let thine eye be single. Be aware of what's really going on and what you're really seeing. And it's easier to see this in awakened beings because they don't have as much of that personality in the way. Even though you're perceiving a personality, there just isn't that much of it in the way. The veil between the reality and the illusion of a separate self is very thin or non-existent. But when you see it, there's still a veil, your own veil, but you can, it helps you to see someone that's already been free. Something inside you, the truth of what you are, realizes, remembers what you are by seeing someone else that also realizes this. There's no separation between you and, and Buddha, Ramana Maharshi, me, Muji, any, any being. There's no separation between you. You are this being that you think is awake or enlightened or you're learning from. That's who you are. That's what you are, not the personality not what you perceive as a personality, but the true being, the true beingness. You're only looking at yourself. That's the purpose of a teacher. The purpose of a teacher is that you realize that you don't need a teacher.
The purpose of a teacher is that you realize that you don't need a teacher. That all of life, all of existence is always teaching you. And you are learning from your own beingness, which is the true teacher, your own true self. It's always been your teacher. And the purpose of an external teacher, me, anybody else, who you're learning from, who you're, who's helping you feel this resonance of your true being, your true nature, is only a reflection, a mirror that you're looking into. And when you awake, you realize that. You don't need teachers anymore after you're awake or anything. All right, so that's why I changed some of the pictures to these, uh, this series of, some of the series of these, of these drawings I have, the eyes of awakened beings. And in this case, sometimes the eye of awakened beings where you get really even more deeply into it, just one eye. Because if you've ever done the practice of gazing, which is a, a wonderful Sufi practice, um, which, uh, you know, in, in my saga back East, we were very open to doing different things. So at one point we, we did, would do gazing practices often. And that's where you just look into somebody's eyes for a period of time, like 20 minutes or so. It's quite a powerful practice. And, and in this, you, you learn that you just look into one eye because if you're trying to look into both eyes, your eyes sort of shift back and forth and that's a distraction. So you just pick one eye and you just look into that one eye. And in that one eye, after 20 minutes or so, it's kind of amazing what you start seeing. You know, sometimes is, is what my experience was, is the illusion begins to dissolve of a separate person. And on the way of that dissolving, you begin to see many things, everything really. Anyway, so what I wanted to talk about today is uh, belief versus awakening versus truth. <laughs>